Alright, so um, I want to see apostles of GMS. Alright, honestly, you both have been pushing this truth in sincerity. I just found this article and it was published uh, by Dan Nosowitz on the 25th of uh, uh, March 25th. Uh, uh, on March 25th, 2015, right? That means it was posted two days ago. And um, what they're basically pushing is these genetically modified organisms, GMO crops and all of that. It says FDA approves apples and potatoes. Right, GMO apple, apples and potatoes. Now, this is one of those articles that people are gonna look over, just look over. But when you go into uh, the understanding of how these food groups work and how it affects uh, the next uh, crop batches and so on and so forth, pretty much once GMOs are in the system, you can't get them out. All right, notwithstanding when the nuclear missiles hit this place, which is one one of the reasons why the nuclear nuclear missiles going to be hitting this place, is to cleanse the earth, because water was the first means of cleansing the earth, but now has iniquity uh, increased within the earth. The most is going to have to use the the maximum cleansing agent, which is the fire, not more fire by way of wood. All right, the maximum fire, that fire not blown, like it says in Job the twentieth chapter. Right, the final blown is going to consume him. I believe it's in Job the 20th chapter. All right, and that's one of the reasons that's going to happen, notwithstanding Esau's going to be destroyed. All right, is the fact that you got all of this um, filth, right? All of all of this unnatural occurrences of stuff, you know, food stuff, you know, uh, um, and not just on a food basis, man. You know, you got you got uncleanness within within people, man. You got you got you got stuff that needs to be cleansed within within human society, quote unquote. All right? There's no structure within the so-called household. There's no structure in your workplace. The scripture says, "I have seen servants upon horses." All right, but like it says also in the um, in the book of wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter and the first verse. All right, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. We're in the we're in the days where the the great the the um the wise men are standing in great boldness. All right, namely starting off with the elders of GMS, right on down to the younger brothers, the young men like us. All right, we're right we're right at the um the 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 precipice, uh, the precipice of our enemies seeing our rise, but in 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 us rising, someone's gonna have to fall for the balance of the most side to be established. And part of the reason that's happening is because the so-called white man is, is a devil. He's wicked. All right. And to prove to you that he's the wicked, he's the only group of people that sees himself as the most high enough to create a whole, a whole genre of food, for lack of a better word, man. Namely, your genetically modified food and all of that. Of which that's not, and he, he's got, he goes on, I'm going to read the article in a second. He goes on to say, uh, amazing, non-browning. Right. Now, what you want to understand is, man, the apple, right, on this basic, on a very elemental basis, the apple is not, it doesn't brown, man, right? unless you cut it. Right, so that's a, um, that's a non, that's a non factor when you, when you think about an apple, you get an apple, it's ripe, you leave it in your house, they might get it a little bit riper and so on and so forth, but when you cut it, it's as fresh as the one you're seeing right here, man. Right? right, and then you leave it out for a little while, right, then it's gonna um that's when it's then that's when it starts oxidizing, in other words, browning. Alright, it's you know, the, pretty much the so-called white man has seen the apple as a, as an engineering project, man. Right? You know, how are you gonna stop the iron from rusting, you're gonna paint it, all of that. No, he's going on a, on, almost on a on a biological or biological basis. The scripture says he has said in his heart that he is the most high, he's so ascend, ascend to the front of the most high, man. Right, which he's not gonna do that, man. But he sees himself as a god in this society. Alright? And he's going to do this, this, this madness here, which is, 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 it's not beneficial to anybody. If you don't want an apple to rot, they don't take the skin off, man. It's that simple, man. Right? And if you, if you wanted to stay, you, if you wanted to keep longer, there's ways of doing it. You can chop it up. Alright? And you can make a, 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 you can make it, uh, you can put natural preservatives on it. Right, but obviously it's a fruit, so it's gonna go off after, after a certain period of time. So there's only, you know, there's only so much you can do to keep an apple fresh. But then that's why the most side keeps on coming every freaking year, man. All right, that's why the most side has got it to where you can get it from one country one one time, and you can send 
you know, when we get up in the, in the kingdom, if you want apples, man, you can send slaves to the other side of the world to get you some damn apples, man. And they're going to be fresh too, man, and juicy. All right, so it says here, amazing non-browning GMO apple and potato, all right, uh, potatoes from two different companies have officially passed FDA inspection. It says they are safe and nutritious, all right, and this is where you have to think about uh, a double speech. Right, uh, one of the brothers always goes into the, the, the double speech of Esau, man. And, um, when you see words like safe, he's me, he means unsafe. When he says nutritious, it means non-nutritious. It says as non-modified, as non-modified versions say, says the agency, right? Will customers agree? Well, the masses are going to agree because they're going to, they're going to market this as a cheaper, as a cheaper apple. All right, after after millions and millions of pounds gone into investment of this so-called apple production of it and these potatoes and all of that, they're going to market it as a cheaper one so that they they can pretty much uh, do away with the with, it, with, with with the regular farmers. So the regular farmers ain't going to be able to to keep up. So the regular farmers are going to be put out of business. All right, same thing they're doing with oil. They drive the price of the oil right down. And then so that the regular the regular uh, producer can't produce at the same rate as they are, and they just get rid of you, man. That's the way it is. It says when people think of genetically modified foods, GMOs, right? The O, right, standing for organism, right? Uh, a common thought is of beastly, unnatural items, which they are. It says, Basketball-sized fruit that won't spoil. It says pigs with chicken hearts, right? Who knows? Scary stuff. But typically, the real reason to go into the DNA, right, are much more mundane. So take the six types of GMO potatoes. So there's six types of GMO potatoes. Right? Well, they put out there. It says two new new types of GMO potatoes. And the FDA approved consump yeah, approved for com consumption last Friday. It says they look like regular products, except they won't brown after you cut them. So. That's a non factor. Why is someone going to invest all of that money so that it stops browning? The most I put the skin on it, man. Put the skin around the apple so it doesn't brown. And when you're ready to eat it, eat the damn thing. All right. And even if it's, you know, it starts browning a little, little bit, you bite it, it still stays pretty much the same, man. So that's a, that's, that's, that's an, you know, obviously you can see it's not really a, a means of, there's no need to do that. So there's a deeper level to this, and really what he wants to do is destroy the people, make them completely dependent on him. Because once you get rid of the regular farmers and all you're using is GMO, GMO foods, guess what, man? You're gonna have to get those GMO foods from someone, man. There's only there's only when you go into um the FDA, right? There's only certain people that can grow certain crops because those crops are now uh um what they call patented, right? Under uh, FDA regulations, so only certain certain farmers can use those and if you haven't got FDA approval to use those crops guess what man you ain't growing nothing hell if if they say they say if um if if you've got two farms next to each other right and the GMO crop just happens to be blown into the next farm pretty much they can seize that whole next farm man, just for the just for them GMOs right because they're patented right they could they pretty much seize your assets man all right so you see, you're beginning to see the way of this devil, and you're going, to, you're going to see uh, just how much of a devil he is in in, in the months to come. It's just the Arctic apple, which uh, which we've covered before, is a brand name for those varieties of apple that have just been approved. So you know that that goes to show you, man. When you see the Arctic apple, you stay away from that, man. Or it says you'll be you'll be able to 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 get either a Granny Smith or Golden Delicious version. All right. Both of which have been modified to remove the enzyme that turns an apple brown right after it's been exposed to oxygen. It says the enormous uh, uh, agribusiness corporation, JR Simple, is uh, responsible for the potatoes, which will be marketed under the name Innate, right? And have been modified in similar ways, except that the addition of reducing acrylamide, right, a substance that shows up. When you fry uh, potato chips or French fries, right, that may cause cancer. So they they, they always market this thing as it's going to be beneficial for you, but that's double speech, man. It says um, the FDA is uh, generally pro or at least uh, non-anti-GMOs, and noted in uh, Friday's announcements that the people 
uh, that people have been modifying plants for thousands of years, but they weren't modifying and, and, and plants that they are, man. We weren't splicing all of that, man. We was we was using it the wisdom most I gave us to it. You know, if you want to, if you want a, a, a flowers or, or or fruit or something like that, it was slight slight variations of it. You take pollen from one side of the world and you mix it with pollen from the next side of the world, and you get slightly different variation, man. We weren't splicing and adding all kind of different genomes inside it, man. Of which some of those some of those genes that like, I think they say salmon genetically modified salmon, right? It's got um. It's got bloody um eel eel in it or something like that, man. We ain't which we ain't you supposed to be eating, man. Alright. It says the agency also stated that the the after researching the new apples and potatoes, they are confident in stating that the produce is as safe as nutri and as nutritious as conventional is conventional part uh, uh, uh counterparts. Man. That means they are safe to sell. That it will be up to the states to regulate that. Just, all right, and you know that's that's pretty much it. All right, but um, when you go into the the, the disbenefits of uh, genetically modified foods, you find it's pretty much it, it. You know they don't know how it's gonna affect you, man, but they gonna still put it out there because that's the devil for you, man. That's the Esau's that mad science. So you know I just wanted to bring out that quick one, and there's loads of ones, and I've done videos like this before going into a genetically modified foods and that, but this was a recent one, all right? And they put out there uh, um, uh, a recent, so um, hopefully brothers found that edifying, right? And um, say double honesty, apostles of GMS, honesty brothers that be pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.